So you might be trying to figure out how you can go through and activate your eSIM on your Android phone. Now, doing this is actually very basic and it really does not take too much time at all. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go and make your way over into your settings application. So make your way right over into settings. So open up your settings app. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and scroll over until you find a little option that basically says network and internet. So tap on there. And then what you're going to want to do is you want to go and find a little option that says sims so in this case what you can do is click on sims and then it's going to start telling you this thing about checking network info so give it a few moments and then it's going to bring you into this page so now at the very bottom it'll give you a few options one you can set up an eSIM, or you can transfer a sim from another device so if you have a sim that's in a different device even an eSIM. You can go and click on there. If your phone supports a physical SIM card, you can add that in too. But if not, it should be an option of transferring another, another like SIM around you. So you can go and do that. Or you can just click on set up eSIM. So now when you do this, what's going to happen is it's going to allow you to basically bring in your you know, network provider that you have. So if you have AT&T, T-Mobile, you can use one of these. If not, you can bring in a different network just by clicking use a different network. Now your cell phone provider is going to send you a QR code. So if you have a QR code, you can have it sent over to you via your cell you know, network provider. And all you're going to have to do here is scan it. So you can click here and scan it. If you can't scan it, you should be able to go through and even bring in a photo of it. So if you have that QR code, you can click on the you know, photo here. You can scan from a photo as well. So they make it a lot easier on you. And at that point, after scanning it, your SIM card will then be brought over to your phone. And that's all you're going to have to do. Your SIM card will then be set up. And that's basically how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.